The king and queen Camilla couldn't help but laugh at the unscripted moment King Charles couldn't help but laugh when Mother Nature beat him to a ceremonial duty. On Thursday, the king and queen Camilla visited Brecon, Wales for a slew of engagements, including a plaque unveiling at Theatre Brecheniac. The sign commemorated the royal visit to the community and 26 years since Charles opened the theatre in 1997. As seen in a video of the unscripted moment, a gust of wind beat King Charles to the grand unveiling. The First Minister of Wales, Mark Drakeford, addressed the couple and the crowd, saying, We've come to that always slightly daunting moment when there is a plaque to be unveiled, but first we have to do the unveiling. At that moment, the red cloth covering the plaque fell to the ground. Everyone laughed, including the king, who raised his arms and snapped in jest. The cloth was raised over the plaque again so the monarch could do the honors. Should we unveil it? King Charles asked as he removed the cloth again. R-E-L-A-T-D. King Charles' guard goes viral with warm gesture for young man with Down syndrome. The lighthearted moment gone awry, reminiscent of the leaky pen incident after his accession in September, even made it into the royal family's official recap of the day in Brecon. The Twitter video showed King Charles, 74, and Queen Camilla, 76, meeting well-wishers, chatting with school children and exploring the Brecknock Agricultural Society show, closing with the dusty unveiling. Elsewhere during the visit, the king and queen stopped by Brecon Cathedral in honor of its centenary year, before heading to the plaque unveiling and then parting ways for solo engagements. King Charles moved to the Brecon Barracks, home to the Regional Army Command for Wales, while Queen Camilla spent time with staff and clients of Callan DVS. One of the largest domestic abuse charities in the country, Callan DVS is dedicated to helping people of all ages who have faced from domestic abuse or sexual violence, aligning with Camilla's longtime mission of supporting survivors and calling for change. The week began with a special occasion for the royal couple, Camilla's birthday. The queen turned 76 on Monday, marking her first birthday since the start of King Charles' reign. Queen Camilla spent her birthday privately and stepped out the following day with her husband for a Shakespeare reception at Windsor Castle. The king and queen are expected to soon head to Scotland for their annual getaway to Balmoral Castle, the royal family's beloved retreat in the Scottish Highlands. Time there will likely be bittersweet, as it marks the first summer stay without Queen Elizabeth, who died at Balmoral in September 2022. It was wonderful to be reunited with so many of the local community of Brecon today. The king and queen teams tweeted, 